<laughs> All right. We are officially live. And... Wow, incredible. <laughs> yeah, Hi, people. We're, we're officially live, and this is the uh, maiden, maiden show of the, the maiden episode of the Alt Furry Show. The pilot episode. The pilot episode. Uh, my know? name's. Uh, yeah, my name's Len. On the, on I'm Burb. Yeah. So just let me talk for a sec. My name is Len. I am the admin of Alt Furry Discord. And today we have a total of five people, a panel of five people. So I'll go ahead and let you guys introduce yourselves real quick. I'm Burb. I'm a moderator of Alt Furry Discord. And I do yeah. art and things. So. Hmm. Gadvin? Gadvin. I am also a moderator within the Discord, and I don't particularly have much interesting about me. Okay. Leave Chairman? Me. Well, I'm Chairman Squeak, and I'm the most interesting person here. I am also a moderator. And they call me. <laughs> I am the only communist allowed in Alfuri. It's pretty cool. He is. <laughs> yes. He is, and we had to make an exception for him. <laughs> All right, but I'm, it's okay because I'm, I'm here Jack. now. What you hear? I'm husky. Well, sorry, Jack you're cutting. You're, you're, cut, you're, you're sorry, cutting Jack. Out. If you could, if you could start again, where you're cutting out a little bit. Go ahead. And I'm husky Jack, and intensifies all my shekels. I'm rubbing them. I'm rubbing them very, 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 very hard, Goyim. Yeah, and just a reminder: this is a PG-13 show, so. Oh, okay. Let's not, try not hey, to hey, try hey. not to drop any f bombs. I'm not going to kill you or anything, but try not to drop any. F -bombs. Okay, so. now I got to put on the filter for the chillings. Nah, that's my job. <laughs> <Yeah>. mm. <laughs> so today, the topic of today's show is, of course, the aftermath of the biggest little furcon in oh boy. Reno, Nevada, and the massive okay. fallout from said furcon. Here is how I see it, and you know. If you have a differing opinion, of course, you're more than welcome to voice that. I see this as a very big victory for our friend, Foxler Nightfire. Um, really, here's what happened if you're not familiar. The biggest little furcon had a convention. The cry bullies and social justice warriors found out that Foxler was there with his red armband, and they did everything they could to get him banned. They did that from rampant threats to um, threatening protests, to threatening the con staff, and then eventually even putting pressure on the hotel to get Alt Furry removed, um, and of course, to get Foxler removed. But at the end of the day, the staff at BLFC, for in my opinion, all of their security shortcomings, they still did not bend the knee to these social justice warriors, and they let Foxler stay. I think that's a big thing. I think it's a great thing. I think it's great that Foxler was able to get through this convention. And it shows that um, uh, convention staff can be reasonable and that uh, and that they don't have to bend the knee to this, this mob of insane human garbage, for lack of a better word. I mean, I'll be honest, as someone who's done a lot of con staff before, with certainty that con staff are very fucking lazy and they do not want to deal with shit. <laughs> they just don't want to deal with shit either way. It's like most of these con staff are like, I'm not taking you seriously just because it's like, there's a Nazi here. It's like, this swastika, he's not harming anyone. We're, we're not doing anything because we're not losing ourselves for a lawsuit. So let's say even if the con staff were going to be full fucking leftist, it's like, doing that shit because it's like we're not facing ourselves for a fucking lawsuit. Well, I, I think it's, yeah, I think it's interesting that you bring that up because um, not long ago, Alt Furry was officially banned from the Tarpaw meetup in North Carolina, in Raleigh, North Carolina. So they did ban us, or at least they tried to ban us. Uh, but um, in, in this case, you're right. They really, they didn't, uh, they didn't seem to care all that much. Although I've heard of other Furry conventions buckling. There go a lot of this has to do with the fact that when you have a con, you have a lot of security. 
Nordstrom first sign. Con's staff really want to crack down harder on like drugs and drunk people causing problems than Petty. Well, he don't like that politics. As far as they're concerned, they want to deal with. They're not going to remove someone from a convention because they're wearing a fucking Trump hat. And they're not removing someone from a convention because they're having a communist flag. So they're not going to move someone with a fucking armband. Worthy as the goddamn armband is. I don't, I'm not going to fucking remove it. It'll be a big fucking deal. Get over it. It's that simple. Ignore it. Security help. Well, what's he doing? Mm -hmm. He's existing. Yeah, basically. Oh, like, they even changed the color to get people to stop getting upset about it and then people were like uh, they still go to loud into the con all they do is just change the color and it's like yeah it slightly resembles a nazi armband but it's not actually a nazi armband please stop if, if, stop. if you knew the the united nations they wear armbands too <laughs> anyone who wears armbands you know what? Is <laughs> this, this should be funny I, <laughs> yeah. I should just go to a con where fox learns that and just wear like a and like proud like Israel armband just to see how fucking triggered I can make them, you know? It's like it's like I just like, ah, oh, this is my favorite Goyam right here. <laughs> you could just imagine the like the, the tears and the saltiness would flow from these people. Oh uh hey Len, is this supposed to be uh showing up on your YouTube? I will take that as a maybe. <laughs> it's a yes. So well it maybe. Lynn has died. Oops. All hail squeak. <laughs> the king is oh. dead. Long live the king. Oh no. Oh, he actually popped off. Where'd he go? Uh oh. Uh -oh. We're, we're without Lynn. Alive, so, so... Anarchy! Anarchy! <laughs> Anarchy! Anarchy! Uh, it's okay, Anarchy. guys. I have the itinerary. Um, the itinerary is, okay, we have Foxler, uh, yeah, Foxler, <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I got the itinerary. Yeah, we got Foxler. Right. All right, we're good, guys, we, we remembered Foxler. Okay, so, okay, Foxler, whatever, uh, so, th Threats was next, I guess. Oh, yeah. boy, the Threats. They were like, I'm going to pee on Foxley, Wait, which is they, not what they, they actually went, said. So. They said, like, a bunch of dumb stuff. Like, someone was like, oh, I'm going to give him a swirly. And then, like, <laughs> some people some people got, like... Have you seen it, half the people in fucking alt furry? I mean, Foxler's a big fucking guy. Are you really going to fucking, like... It's not even that, that, though. It's, like, a lot, of, a lot of people in alt furry, they were like, oh, you shouldn't, like, be able to say that because that could be considered a threat and blah, blah, blah. And then they were like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna fucking, uh, I'm gonna give him a swirly, uh, uh." And then they're like, "How are you gonna arrest me for saying I was gonna give someone a swirly?" And I'm just like, like, "Just shut up! You're such a child, my god! I hate how they try to act tough because they're not. They literally hide behind cartoon animals. You're not <laughs> tough. Just stop. Yeah, I don't. We're gonna be edgy. Just I don't get all the anger and violence coming from the SJWs and shitted furry cons. Like, they all look it's like none that's of like them. like the only place they have power, so like. They... <laughs> they all look like none of them could like do anything to anyone, and that's coming from a pacifist here. <laughs> uh yeah, most of them are. Yeah, they're yeah, either they, they could, fat they could, or they're they like could. skinny, like really skinny. They're either like it's either one of two extremes: it's Trickly Puff or Twinkie Puff. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. Pretty much, and like, but none see. of these people, and they're like, almost all of them come from like the most fucking lily white backgrounds. It's like they've grown up in like the most white areas all their fucking life, and they fucking actually, if they actually had to see more than two non-white people fucking a day, they would freak out and go, oh, oh, "I don't feel safe. I feel scared. <laughs> I need to go into my like hip." That's how they literally <laughs> act. I had a friend of mine, fucking SJW, you know, he, you know, but he was rooming with me, and I need to pick to go so, to my house. So it's like he goes to my neighborhood, and it's like basically you see all the signs are basically in Spanish, uh, and like the neighborhood around me. Quick question: Are we live right now, or what's going on? Uh, we are still live. You didn't I don't know. Are we? Are we? Are we, are, are we on? Still, well, yeah, but is it actually is, showing up on the channel? 
Uh, I, not that I can see. Showing up on the channel. It is oh, showing it is. up. We are live. Can someone, some, can someone yeah. PM me a link? Yeah, can, can someone get, like, oh. the guy? So that I, uh, I this? How do we get a link to... I sent him a message. I just sent <laughs> him a message to let him know he cut out. So, I don't I'm know like, what's up. Lynn, we need you to guide us. Otherwise, we're going to just start talking about random shit. <laughs> I don't know how to give Lynn a link. He's back up, but uh, his computer. Died. Yeah, his computer cut. His computer just cut out inexplicably. That's I think cool. it's probably because of storms. So yeah, storms in this area because there's like a lot of rain going through the state. So. Oh, thank hey, you. Guys. Hey, welcome back, Lynn. Welcome back, Papa. Hey Lynn. guys, can can you hear me? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I yeah, don't know what. I don't know what just happened, but my computer. <laughs> Cut out out of nowhere, so they couldn't keep up. It it gave up. Yeah, it, it just it just restarted out of nowhere. So I oh my god, for oh, uh, before, but we, we figured that like something fucked up, so we're just oh oh Honestly. oh no, I did a wrong, I did a bad. I'm sorry. We're gonna oh. get demonetized from YouTube now. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I thought I thought Lynn just threw us all in a room and then left us. No, I would never. <laughs> I would never, never do that. I would never. Do that. He's That'd be too funny. much. Never he's too much of a father figure to do that. Come on, he's not Thank a deadbeat. You. He's not a deadbeat. <laughs> That's right. right. That's I'm the right. one who would throw five people on an island and make them deal with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> All right. So, anyways, we've been sidetracked, but that's okay. A little bit. So we were talking about uh, BLFC and how they didn't. Uh, you know, it, it is it is interesting that you mentioned that they didn't they didn't care about the he's a Nazi, get the Nazi out. Uh, the hotel didn't seem to care at all. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't I don't have the tweet yes. with me, but somebody one of the one of the SJWs actually did tweet the the uh the hotel and said you guys need to get rid of alt furry alt furry is a danger uh, we have i saw that i was like, I was like what is, okay what is alt furry uh, actually done? i don't know how the hell we're quote unquote dangerous i'm like <laughs> have you seen the average alt furry member we're not ex we're we're a slight step above the sjw's and looks but let's let's I mean, not kid furries. ourselves you're still furries. <laughs> we're, we're hardly the worst we'll probably do is puke everywhere in the hotel <laughs> Yeah. See us doing I think danger. I think in general though, like if people from Altford are going to a convention, they're not going there to start shit. They're going there to have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I fucking I yeah, mean like, obviously I where some people that go there. To I'm the guy but... who basically got everyone's shit face, so it's like I'm everyone's head bartender, be nice to me or you won't get drinks. <laughs> right. It's pretty, it's pretty good. I'm also a that's, that's, that's that's Wait, were you that's... were you at uh BLFC or what? Well, we won't say LFC, who we, we won't say who was and who wasn't at BLFC, but I I will say this: yeah. our our friend Foxler was there, his posse was there, and we had a number of people there as well. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, we'll just leave that. Yeah, I just like I said, we don't want to really reveal because we don't want people being docs and like that. Fair enough. It's hey, pretty you know, funny though. Some like, people... I'm I'm open with cons because it's like I've already been there. And it's like like you know what I'm. You want to do it to me? Really nothing. So, but I know a couple. Of people yeah, uh, it's like, it's so funny. Like, uh, I remember there's like a bunch of people on Twitter, and they were like, "I'll pay you twenty dollars if you spill milk on Foxer's first. And it's like nobody's <laughs> right. gonna do that. All of you guys are like, you wouldn't do it. You, you don't have the balls. To yeah, do it. the first, the only summary. That's why they're offering to pay other people to do it. You know, because they're too much. You know who would spill milk on Foxer's first? Too? That's probably because we're all milk drinkers. <laughs> that <laughs> very funny. Because we're because yeah. we're like hardcore milk drinkers, we'll just like drink like a two gallon of milk, and someone will accidentally spill milk. So it's like, please pay Alt Furry somebody twenty dollars. He's Alt Furry. He spilled milk in Foxler's suit. If you if you drink two gallons of milk, <laughs> I should have I should, have, I should do that and like only make it a little bit like the tiniest amount ever. It's it'll, like, it'll just look well, like no, a cum stain. You, you I mean, that's what we are made for, right, guys? Cum stain. Yeah. <laughs> guys, I, uh, I actually have a... I'm sorry, moment. this one's from PG-13. <laughs> 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 that's right. Wait, let's just there. forget it. We, we, let's forget it. We're, we're not going to get this PG-13. We're talking yeah, about I guess, furries. I guess not. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's the topic of furries, kind of. <laughs> 
Yeah. That's kind of already like going on. It's going to get a, end up uh, going R. They, we're talking about furries here. Right. Yeah. Okay. If well, uh, furries are just in the anthro. An all furry. It's um, not going to PG thirteen. Oh boy. Couple things, uh, Len. Are uh -huh. you paying attention to the uh, chat at all? No, I'm not. Who's <laughs> which, okay, because someone probably comes to the chat and to, to pay attention to the I'm chat. Trying to pull up, I'm trying to pull up all kinds of stuff that I lost when my computer cut out on me, so Rip. that's why. All right. Oh, okay. I would have, I would pull it up. up I'd pull up chat, except uh, my computer and internet is ass. Oy vey. Congratulations, you did it. I mean, I, I don't care. Yeah, like I personally it. just don't care about chat, so... <laughs> Yeah. I mean, yeah, but sometimes, but I don't know, maybe we can have like a little What's section at the end where people ask questions or some shit, entice the audience. Uh, yeah, that's good. Well, I'll, we entice, for that. Uh, I'll entice people. Yeah. I'll entice people. <laughs> we Guess can do how that. long the dildo I have. It. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, anyways, continuing on. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm pulling up all the, uh, I'm pulling up all the threats that we got. And oh, boy. I, I want to go over some of the uh, threats that were tweeted very briefly, if I can. I'm going to give the Foxler a swirly. If Foxler yeah. doesn't go home, I'm going to go back to my room and try. Uh, 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 oh my god. Lag. Yeah, we got some serious lag here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling them up real quick, and I'll have it ready in just a second. Um, I uh, so. actually have a quick summary of all the stuff that was offered if they would uh, do I'm shit to Foxler. I'm presenting to everyone. Okay. Uh, if you want, I can oh, go over that real quick. Thing. Yeah, if you could do that real quick. <laughs> All right. This is taken from a uh, journal on Fur Affinity. If you guys kind enough to uh, oh my God. summarize this for us. Um, it currently stands at $215, one full color commission, one free thigh up full color commission, one colored sketch, two headshots, one icon, one vector bust badge, one doodle, one head headshot sketch two pixel artworks, three badges, or two badges in a small animation, one digital badge, one set of hand paws, one two to five page story, one 10 page story, and a copy of Overwatch if somebody does the following. Dump a bag of Franzia on his head, film it, punch him in the face, steal his fursuit head oh, no. in the dumpster, or steal his armband, picture. Most of the artwork and stuff comes uh, offers come from the theft of the armband. And who who was that doing that? Ah, oh, there's too many people, and you I know didn't what? bother to Just archive all, all of them. I should get I should get Foxler in on this and basically make him a new armband and just say, "Listen, dude, <laughs> pretend I steal your armband, get some free sh art for it, then." Fucking say, oh, by the way, I got Foxler new armband right after they give me the art. I say we should just do the thing that guy did. Say that on a stream. Yeah, well, okay. Well, anyway, you could have planned it out. You could have been like, yo, Foxler, hit me up. Let's meet up somewhere. Because that's what all furry stands for honesty. Yeah. No, but, uh, <laughs> yep. shit. I used yep. to. We are honest. When this person that you're like showing, it uh, sucks because I used to follow them and they have cute art and stuff. But like, oh god, I well, hate. They they've revealed themselves this time. So it, for for those who are just listening by audio, this was a, a a person who was actually there, and she was saying, and this was Moop at and it's it's under at Feather Hoodie. If you're curious, dude, who wants to pour milk on Foxler's suit ass area with me and walk away before he notices? And, you know, afterwards they were acting like this was some kind of big old joke or some kind of real funny thing, but those they, they should know more than anybody that these fursuits do cost a lot of money. Yeah, that's property damage. <laughs> it, it, it is property damage. And you know what? Despite what they say, it is also assault. Okay? Yeah. It is yeah. assault. I mean, that that's... that that's, It's a misdemeanor. That's, you're still, you're still, you're still putting... You're, you're still putting... Uh, you're still, like trying to like hit them with something even yeah. if it's just like that's, like you can pour, right. put it putting a glass of water in someone's face is still like that's yeah. right it is it's, assault it and, is. and it's still okay, assault so, so, so this idiot this idiot followed up with no violence no harassment just some milk on the ass yeah that's not still enough to, assault. No, i'm like, sorry legally speaking it's still assault yeah. like i know you can you can say it's not assault all you want but legally it is. is it's it's assault it is assault in technicality but at the same time I'm also going to say this. I'm like, 
you're really going to you do you really want to pay that much money to fix someone's first suit because uh, like, I won't do that shit to someone. Well, I would were, feel really bad if I did that to someone. Like, they, even they, if it was on an accident, I'd be like, oh yes. my god, I'm so yeah. sorry. Like, those know. are expensive. Well, this wasn't an accident, and this person was being encouraged by a number of others. I thought it was serious. I mean, it was, to me, it looked like they were actually going to do it. And the person was saying, well, tonight, I'll, after the con, I'll go and buy some milk, and tomorrow we can do this. Ha, 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 funny, you know, funny. You know, even if they weren't actually going to do it, they still shouldn't do that. And I got into, like, an argument with these people on Twitter, and they were like, oh, well, Fox Lord is bad guy, and I'm like, yeah, I don't necessarily, like, I, I personally don't necessarily like him. He's not my friend. I don't know right. him. Right. But, like, it, it's either everyone that's making threats and doing dumb shit is banned, or no one is. Yeah. I, I mean, there has to be some semblance of order here in the in these conventions. Otherwise, the precedent. I mean, and this is what I'm going to argue today because this sets an incredibly bad precedent. They were they were encouraging her to do it, you know. And then I, I was kind of facing a split because I was watching these tweets come in live. Mm -hmm. We had some people. I'm I'm just going to put it this way: we had some people looking at these tweets, and we were watching them live. And I I took it seriously. And I thought to myself, well, I've, I've, I've communicated threats to convention security in the past to these people, to BLFC. And it seemed to me like BLFC didn't really think it merited their attention. And I don't think that they're going to think this merits their attention. So what I did was I stepped in and I said, I, I jumped into their tweet conversation. I said, your tweet has been archived. You better think twice about this. This is criminal mischief, willful destruction of property, and assault according to Nevada law. We have your tweets archived, and we have a picture of your fursuit. And so they were going back and forth and blah, blah, blah. But here's the bottom line. A few tweets later, they said, I'll, I'll, I'll narrate the conversation. As much as I can understand your anger about those idiots, someone else said, please don't do it for real. We need to be smarter. It isn't worth the consequences. And then the person said, no, nah, I'm not going to. Because now they know it's me, LOL. I got a pathetic threat tweet. Okay, first of all, you're the one making the threats. I'm not making a threat at all. All I'm all saying you is, all you said was you have it saved. That's <laughs> How correct. How is that a threat? I'm, yeah, what I'm what I'm saying that is, is that it's that is a terrorist. Yeah, I'm they, I'm threatening. I yeah, I'm threatening. I'm, I I know who you are, and I'm going to report this. It's been archived. Don't even bother deleting it. And you'll be on the hook if you do this. And, you know, to them, that's a, a threat, which is laughable. But oh, no. Repercussions of my actions. Oh, that's a threat. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> heaven forbid. Heaven forbid. Right. Yeah. So, I swear. Like, everyone's like, oh, yeah. The entire furry fandom is mostly left and it sucks. And then you have these people that are making threats and everyone's like, yeah, do it, do it, do it. And then they don't realize that their actions and what they post online are going to have consequences. Well, they will and have like, consequences. That one, that one guy, uh, he, I forget what his name is, but uh, he was like, Wait, oh, was I brought a bunch of lighter, the the yeah, lighter. The lighter fluid. He's like, yeah, I brought a bunch of lighter fluid to have a barbecue with Fox. Uh, I, I, I don't, I still don't, don't honestly he's so, don't. He's backpedaling with... so hard. Like, don't even try. If you're going to threaten someone, stick to it. Don't, like, <laughs> Don't wimp out last no, and, minute. And stick to it. It's like, you know, if I'm going to threaten someone. I'm just going to say this. If one of those people came up to me personally, the con says, fuck you, fascists, it's like, touch me again, motherfucker. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I no, no, no. Poke me again. Poke me. Come on. Touch me again. See what happens. Throw the first <laughs> punch. See what happens. I'll knock your ass out. Talking about yeah, the, the, and, and I'm going to fuck you a fucking bunch. Nazis. I'm like five foot yeah, seven, yeah. so I yeah. can't really do that. But. <laughs> I have lots of heavy tools. I can beat the shit out of someone with. I can become an RPG character. I can get like a giant crescent wrench or some shit. Hey, 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 hey! I got something better. I have a blue gun a Glock, which is basically uh, a training. I'm in fucking guys, Leafland. Yeah. I can't not... own one of those. <laughs> and 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 just no, to just no, to be no, sure, they're we're not bringing we're not bringing any of these we're not bringing no. any of these to a convention or anything. No, that's no, against the law. We're just I shooting the shit. I use no, I use these for costly props, like. I should send you a picture of it. Basically, what it is is basically like they're dummies. They're bright blue, so they're basically just a plain dummy. It's a rubber bullet, basically, but it's like um, up to me. Like they're, they're trying to 
do something. It's like, right? If you get you're there. cutting out, bud. Oh, sorry. Ah, uh, is that better? We'll see. <laughs> it hasn't been very good thus far. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's just this thing. If I have to, I will switch to my bloody phone if I need to. Yeah, it's it's okay. I'm it's all right. I don't I don't mind the sidebar because I'm trying to pull up the uh, the threatening tweet in question here. Yeah, the lighter fluid one. Lighter and then he was he was backpedaling so hard. I was like, dude. Yeah, he if was. I, just, I, if, I, just commit to it. Don't like. <laughs> That's well, such a cowardly thing to do. If, 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 if he commits to it, he'd be in jail. Well, I know. Then he, that's what well, he has. At least in Alabama, yeah. simply stating intent will put you in jail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I doubt Nevada is all that different. So here is here is the tweet. I'm going to present it. There we go. It's my first time using Google Hangouts, by the way. So here is. Oh, good right. job. You're we doing talking. really good. We're learning I'm together. Thank you. Thank you. It was uh, at. It's like Lube, a fun school trip. It was at Lude Blockify. I'm at BLFC 2017, and I have a backpack full of lighter fluid and matches that I'm saving specifically for Foxler. How romantic. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this one, listen, this one, I took this one real seriously. Um, I, I, I'm I, just going to come out and say yeah, it. This, this is the, the one this is, that the guy was backpedaling way hard on. Yes, that's correct. It was he so did, yes, funny, he did. and then he blocked me. <laughs> He even well, changed his name to Barbecue Haver at Black Lives Furcon 17. Yeah. Black yeah. Lives Furcon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that was pretty funny. That's good. Oh. <laughs> I, I I gotta admit, this is this this one I, I really took seriously. I, I contacted I I called the convention security, the Flare group. I called them personally on this one. And when I told, when I narrated the tweet to the person on the other end of the line, she was aghast. I mean, she was beside herself. Uh, maybe she was just being nice to me. But and and then I went ahead and I I contacted, I contacted the hotel security on this one because this is uh, you know ridiculous. If, if someone says they're going to pour milk or or you know pour milk or steal a armband or whatever, okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lose my shit. But this. You know, this is a serious threat, right? Yeah. This is a serious deal, and so yeah. I contacted a bunch of things, and I, I think I, I'm not sure I'm not sure what happened because I wasn't on the floor, but you know, some people told me some stuff happened because of this, and and this, this guy. Why I don't want to go to conventions, like shit, dude. Yeah, well, this guy, this guy started. You know, back I, I wouldn't mind so much if I was like a six foot four dude, but I'm a five foot seven fucking scrawny piece of shit. Yeah. Like I can't do shit and I've lived in fucking leaf land, so I don't I can't even fucking bring shit to protect myself with. Like the fuck. Well, to to be fair, you're not anywhere near of a lightning rod that Foxler is, but I know, but it's have just a roll uh, of Canadian coins in your pocket. Yeah. Just you know what? Canadian coins put that in your are fist. great. Put that in I your like hand. Them. Put the roll in your hand. Yeah, Comes just put them. Yeah, yeah. Just make a mill wall. Or I could just put my just keys tight. between my fingers. Yeah. That works. Like that I'll be like Wolverine, but with keys. how you do it. I'm like well, a Lockmaster Wolverine. It's you... like a steampunk Wolverine. That's a great idea. Fuck, someone cosplay that shit. That well, yeah, that's that's all well and good, but as a disclaimer, <laughs> none of us are looking to start fights that can. No. Uh, so, I, mean, I just I if I if yeah, I have none of us. Are I just want to be able to defend myself easier. Like I'm tiny. Like I said, I'm a pacifist. I don't hit people. Yeah. Okay. Do you shoot people though? <laughs> well, this guy actually joined our uh, Discord briefly. Because someone. Oh yeah, that's right. This guy actually joined our Discord briefly because I guess someone because I I was posting like, hey, this needs to be looked into. Now I posted it in the lobby and one of the shills picked it up and told him and so he actually came in the oh, Discord. Gosh, he, the shills, he, uh, they're the worst. Yeah, so this guy was backpedaling. I don't I don't oh, know man. what happened, but I I hope to God he doesn't make threats like that in future uh, future conventions. I hope he got tackled by security. <laughs> Well, that would not have been an inordinate response. You know, that would have been an appropriate. Wow, cunt star, you must love yourself. Your yeah, parents so must be so proud. Yeah, here's another one by Lucari Luc oh, Vo, cunt star. If I get banned from a con for tackling Foxler on God site, it. it would be well worth the price of admission. With one like. It would be <laughs> worth the price of admission to watch them get their ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> I, love how how a, I love how they have the fucking ANCAP flag or ANCOM flag in the background of their picture. 
Yeah, I did notice that. Fucking con- dude, I see. I saw Luke. Uh, Luke, uh I'm just gonna call him. Co- no whore. You're cut now, bud. This pr- no whore is what I'm gonna call them. And have you seen them? Most beta person you can imagine. If you just take one look at them, they're extremely fucking beta. Yeah, most of these people, you look into who they are, and man, they're 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 they're, 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 and I've they're seen basically some a sack of people, potatoes, you know. Like these people, this these person's people like a twig, even... and if it's like, is it a tranny? Or, but it's like I see the little she. I don't no, know. They're not I don't know. Tranny. Let's let's not get into the person because this is a live show, and <laughs> yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh yeah, that's true. Of that, but we, like, don't, okay, okay. we don't. We don't want to get our video taken yeah, down for harassment and bullying, right, right guys? Yeah. Just, right? Just, right. Just, just just suffice it to say, just right. suffice it to say that these people look like they could barely even beat their own meat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you have like you have the most dad insults. It's incredible. You you have you have the best insults. Like when you first start reading it, you're like, oh wow, this is like dumb. And then you get to the end, and it's like, holy fuck, you hit me right in the honey nut filios. Goddamn. <laughs> like you go straight for the fucking core, dude. You gotta go. You gotta go to those rocky training videos oh, where you're beating fuck. someone else's meat. <laughs> okay. Well, let's 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 move on. Let's move okay. on to another one. Let's move on to another one. Boy, this one was this one was just ridiculous. This was by Gabriel Schliefer, which you know wow, that's, he, um, he put he put his name out there. He put his oh. name on Twitter, so that's 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 what Avatar. it is. Lovely. If Gabriel Schliefer wants to speak I'm like this, this Gabriel Schliefer this person's <laughs> already I mean, the, the guy is holding the capitated from the stupid name cap- Schliefer. No, 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 oh, to, to, from my understanding, that's a real name. I mean, his. He, I, I'm not. I don't. I don't want to single this oh, guy out, but he puts his stuff out very publicly. He looks like a young Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> is he like twelve? Does he have a bowl cut? I don't. I'm not gonna. He looks like he looks like Gilbert Gottfried would look. I don't Gilbert know Godfrey who that is. Or, does Gilbert Gottfried have the, a? He's does the, he have he, a bowl cut? Well, have you ever seen the Disney movie Aladdin? Yes. Yeah, he's Iago. He's the guy who does the voiceovers. Yeah, he was the bird. Yeah, he's I the think. guy with the real scratchy oh, voice. That, yeah. Oh, that it's bird. Aladdin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that Aladdin. bird. It's Aladdin. That bird has teeth. I see this person. Birds don't like... have teeth. Anyways. Anyways. Yeah, yeah. This, this one, I don't know. He says, if I see these fuckers at Anthrocon, they're roadkill. God damn, dude! I, I, yeah, I would down. imagine. I would imagine Anthrocon would like to hear about this. <laughs> don't, don't waste your mommy and daddy's money. Shit, they don't want to have to yeah. fucking fix their car after you tried to hit someone in a fursuit. My God. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know what? I mean, actually, I actually want these people just to try attempt that stuff. I don't. And then miss Foxler, and like do that because do you know how fucking crazy it would go? Shit. It's oh, the whole like, thing would be shut uh, down. What's the point? The whole thing would be shut down. Mm-hmm. And, and, and the whole thing would be like, yeah, yay, you ruined the fur con. You ruined yeah. the biggest fur con. <laughs> yeah, indeed. So, I mean, this was this was one of the worst. But let, let's move on to another one here. Let's Vulpine. move on to move. Vulpine Boricua. Oh, this guy. Oh, my that, God. That is a fun last name. <laughs> it's not a last. I, I, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. I think it means... Puerto Rican. I think that's what Boricua means. <laughs> Puerto Rican. So I'll narrate it for you. Funniest thing about, I mean, this is really a psychotic chain of tweets. Funniest thing about Foxler's bodyguard situation is he picked three people who stand no chance of stopping assault. However, hold on here. Continued. What does that say about the actual threat to his safety when he can scoop up three randos as a joke? instead of actually worrying like y'all ain't exactly scaring him in that case so i'm thinking there's a lot of bark with no bite maybe somebody should fix that i get it nobody wants to ruin convention plans with an assault charge and waste their weekend but have you ever considered just saying fuck it i don't know like i see a lot of people in the nazi first fuck off camp which it which is absolutely a good thing but all talk plus no action disappoints or maybe i'm wrong about this but correct but correct me, sick, in my assessment that there isn't a single Nazi for whose ass I couldn't kick. <laughs> ah, golden one, get the gold. <laughs> not a Nazi for, but like I love how his profile pictures. Anthro- 
Well, I, yeah. I mean, this guy's a psycho. This guy's a psycho. And, and I'm not, I, I you know, He's all of these, all, all of these serious threats, I'm just going to put it this way. All of these, these are the more serious threats. And I've looked into every one of them. And I've looked yep. into who's done every one of them. Okay. Now, here's, here's my public statement. These threats were not made to me. So I don't have any case to bring a criminal charge. But it's all archived. And it's all here. And in case something does happen, there's going to be, let's just say, a whole lot of evidence. Okay. So, <laughs> so and serious. Here's another thing. Here's another thing. I don't think Foxler is a very bad guy. I don't think he's a very litigious person. I think you can make all these stupid threats and it just rolls off. But don't take that for weakness because I don't think that it is. And don't assume that just because you can threaten Foxler like this and get off scot-free doesn't mean that you can threaten anyone. You know, you might threaten somebody else and they might be a whole heck of a lot more litigious and surprise, you find yourself on a road trip to to, to show up in a, a criminal court and you get a restraining order slapped on you, okay? Because these are, I don't think this tweet was a, would qualify as a threat per se, but there's a whole bunch of these these psychotic things that are going on left and right. And I guess my concern with this is that the, the convention, I guess, decided not to act on a lot of these and there were a lot more and there were there were honest to god there were threats made by people on the convention floor which i reported and i guess they decided that they didn't want to do that um they didn't want to the, the convention didn't want to respond to that and that's their choice right the reason i reported them is is for the well-being of the people on the receiving end of that threat and for the hotel and the convention more really mostly the convention itself these conventions might have like waivers and stuff where you waive all your rights away or whatever, but there is a such thing as negligence. And I'll, I'll put it this way. If, if someone, if Foxler were actually to have been assaulted by someone, not even necessarily one of these people, and the convention has been notified time and time and time and time again about these threats and they elected not to do much of anything about it, there is a such thing as negligence. And that could be a real problem for conventions going forward. Now, that's just my opinion. That's my layman's view of the situation, and it's how I, it's it's how I feel about it. And I, I am disappointed and surprised that a convention, because this is not acceptable convention behavior, and I'm surprised that that any convention would would put up with this amount of insanity. So that's the end of my little monologue on that. The only worst convention would be the one I have in my head where I want to hold it with no security. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, unless anyone else wants to add anything, we can go on to uh, we can go on to the next uh, item. Two point five now. Yeah, we're on two point five. So we'll go ahead right. and. Uh, Yay. We're gonna we're gonna talk about what's so far my favorite. Uh, piece of video from the convention. <laughs> yeah, this one's funny. <laughs> just give me a second to just give me a, a minute to post it up and I'll do a screenshot. Oh, KK just got burned in the chat. Oh, okay, she's in the chat. What did what happened? <laughs> Maybe I should at all watch the chat. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you uh, can we put the chat up on the screen? <laughs> I can't. I don't know how. I, I know how to do that, idea. but that's hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, KK brought up some of uh, Foxler's past history. Oh, uh, let's uh, not even go there. Let's not. I mean, Jesus Christmas. Oh, yeah. Everyone else brings <laughs> Jesus up. Jesus Christmas. Oh, my wait, God. Wait, you're wait. such a dad. Jesus Christ. Every Well, I don't. Like, I'm trying to keep it PG 13. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to say the uh, Lord's name in vain here. So. <laughs> Every, <laughs> regarding Foxler's past, everyone and their dad has talked about it. Right. Everyone has brought up these old tweets from when he was a teenager or what he did when he was yeah, 13 years like old. So long ago. As if yeah. that's like as if that's some damning thing for the rest of his life that's gonna happen. It, look, we all do stupid stuff when we're teenagers. I it's not my I'm not gonna dig through Fox's past. I'll let other people do that. Holy fuck, dude. Mute your microphone. Jesus Christ. Kill him. <laughs> I don't know what that was. But anyways. Sorry, sorry, I'm trying to get this fixed up. I'm just trying to get my mic fixed. That's why 
at your leisure at your leisure so here is the is it better uh, better now got it here is this the secret video and it uh, unfortunately the audio isn't going to pull up on this but here is the secret ultra super secret video <laughs> exclusively exclusively leaked to Len Gilbert about an Asian fellow on the floor seeing fox it has no sound it doesn't <laughs> I, I, can, I can we can narrate it but Oh my god, dude, you need to set up OBS or something. I know, I know. I'll help it's, you. It's our first okay. show, so here here he is. They see Foxler. This guy sees Foxler. I don't appreciate you guys having an armband. Where's security? And now he's calling for security. Hey, where's the con staff? <laughs> Who did that? Who did the voice? <laughs> Same guy. Con staff over here. <laughs> yeah, it sounded exactly like that. And then he goes up to the, I the saw that guy. and he's like, like, he's like, can you just stay here for a second? Yeah. So security, this guy exists. Help. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what. <laughs> it's like the whole humongous situation. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Hugh. Hugh. Humongous. What? Hugh. Mongus. All right. So that was name. actually really Hugh. funny. I, uh, it's like I guess he's like talking about his pen name, and that's like his pen name is like Hugh, and the last name is Mungus. And I imagine there's a guy in real life named Hugh Mungus. Looks like someone get. I can imagine like going through all that rage. It's like, yeah, no, no. I look at it like this, and okay, convention is the convention's not going to take these threats as seriously as they should. Right. To kind of understand this, you may have, let's say, for a staff of, let's say, a thousand people, have 12 people tops, 30 staff. And those people got to be dealers' den and checking badges. Uh huh. So you can't put them in every door as much as you should, as much as you want, unfortunately. You can't have them running around addressing the situation of this, this, and this. Okay. Fortunate problem of con staff that I've personally seen. You know, you may have. It's one of those sad things. It's it's really sad. I wish it wasn't that way, but that's how it unfortunately rolls because that's really a lot of cons are. Well, wouldn't they just don't have the staff? Wouldn't they be able to? Okay, and and I I guess I understand that. And and again, I've I've never been a staff member at a con, so. You're definitely more of an expert than I am, but wouldn't they be able to, at the very least, once the day is over, say, "Hey, look, we got these threats. Let's let's make sure he if doesn't come." If they are, if they are valid, if they are valid threats, and they can pull up someone's badges, no problem. Then yes, some cons, especially with more well-staffed cons, person they see this badge, they will actually let's say scan the badge, and they will say. Okay, this we can catch them when they try to tell Connors mm -hmm. about something. Oh. Or we can catch them on this just to fix these bad situations. But right you know, where people just go into a con say need to fix this if the, it's if the threat is credible. Okay, well I like I, I understand. I, I think a lot of these threats are credible. I, maybe that's just me, but so I think in, a lot of these. Here's the thing: I don't think a lot of these threats are credible fact is anthrocon is a big con you're going to have a heavy police presence at that con you're go also going to have a heavy hotel security presence at that con at that situation i don't see that guy doing anything and a lot of these people will talk trash on twitter but in real life they won't do anything right but if they do but it's the same side it's the same thing it's like this 99 percent of those tweets are Mostly just people, false alarms and BS. Well, it could be, but how? Unfortunately, do... you cannot. Treat... It's it's hard. You can't treat all as serious threats. You have to kind of go through and verify these people. Yeah, and verify understand. the threats themselves. Yeah, yeah. Well, let me let me ask you this then, Husky Jack, in your esteemed opinion, and just from knowing what you've seen, would would you say that BLFC was a well-staffed convention, or or, or what? To be honest, uh, I haven't been on the ground, so I can't I can't say. But if con staff 
they had if they didn't remove a lot of people, it usually tells me that either a they're short staffed with security, so a lot of people didn't get removed. Uh huh. Basically relegated the serious stuff to hotel security and PD security, and just handle basically petty con drama. I think for the most part, they were just they sent most of their people of check badges here and here for main events and door. The head higher up security running to deal with uh, drunks, people, and serious situations. That I think right. at the, I think at that moment they didn't really waste their time on. Okay. It's good and bad in a lot of ways. It, I think it's good in the fact that most of these people are not going to do anything because they're not. They're, I wouldn't say stupid, but they're not. They're pretty cowardly when you think of it. Well, I, yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I, I'm just I'm looking at it from. I'm looking at it from, I guess, if I were running a convention and people were telling me that there are all these threats going on, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't, it would be, it would look so bad if something actually were to happen and I hadn't, and I'd, I'd had all these warnings and I hadn't done anything. It would just look really bad. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. But I, I, we should have you on the show more often, Husky Jack. You do need to fix your microphone, though. Yes, if you if you get uh, a better mic, once better mic, or at least do my phone until I get this shit from now. Yeah. No, it's when it comes to con. And he's gone. Things like con. <laughs> I've been to enough for con. All right, all right, man. No, it's it's cut. It's cut. Oh my god. Sorry. It's cutting out. It's, it's cutting out too much. I can't just let this. I can't just let it keep going. Husky, so, anyways, your mic second. is worse than the commie mess. I, <laughs> I think the commie has made his mic. Kick him! Kick him! Kick him! Kick no, him! I'm not gonna kick him. No, don't I'll, kick I'll him. hold on. I'll, I'll leave and come back. Okay. Okay. Merry Christmas. All right. Well, we'll see if that does anything. Although I highly doubt it. <laughs> All right. Oh, there he goes. Okay. So, anyways. I guess the last part of the show we've I've, we've already talked about how oh there's one a couple other things a couple other things happened um, our friend uh, our friend uh, Mr. Leftist Fox Butt as I like to call oh, yeah. as I like to call the Anvil Butt uh, at least left, he has a sense of humor yeah he does have a sense I wouldn't I wouldn't mm. call him yeah I wouldn't call him Anvil Butt on this show if he didn't somewhat uh, uh, go along with it but our friend the Anvil he Butt got his he got his con badge uh, as his character with an anvil tattooed on his butt. Was that what that was? Was that a con badge? Because yes. I thought it oh, looked it was, to me yeah, some kind of badge. It and, looked to uh, me like a beer coaster or something. I oh, uh, why is your video your... on? Jesus! Fixed ah, it. people! Ah. It's... Okay, well, that does sound, <laughs> have... that does sound better. No. Yeah, uh, it's it's just I think it's this low quality mic and something with my old cheap computer. So I'm yeah. tossing out this. It's it's. Head that out pretty soon, to be honest. Okay. Make a video of you throwing it in a blender. All right. Well, any, anyways, we were we were talking about we were talking about leftist fox butt and his um his wacky pamphlets about subversion. The Marxist manifesto. Yeah, I actually, thought, I, I actually thought the art on that was pretty clever. I was actually kind of impressed by that, but. Um, I will. I will make a bad joke just to kind of now poke fun at both sides. It's like manifesto will say the ones behind everything are the fat pig capitalists, and the not and the for are going to you know 1488 are going to say the Jews are behind everything. <laughs> <laughs> so with Alex Jones would say that there's a reptilian conspiracy behind them both. Someone post that Spider-Man meme where it's just like I'm 100 percent sure the Jews are behind this. Yeah, and, and, I I don't really want to go there, but I I actually like to uh, say this. Yeah, go ahead. My shackling is going to intensify. Right. <laughs> okay. Nice of you to join us from the under the sea, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> under the sea. At least, <laughs> at least he's not quite cutting out as much. No. He isn't. It's better. It's better. It's better. It's good. Yeah, that's because I'm on my phone. So yeah, it's. I just have to hold it kind of steady now. So Android. Yeah. What you want to do is you want to set it on your desk and hunch over your phone. 
It's kind of dumb that someone was passing out pamphlets for political shit at a furry convention anyways, and I'm a communist saying you shouldn't pass the shit out. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. We have... We there have you the go, Stalinist, guys. Uh, Other communists fucking say shit. <laughs> they're Stalinist all disapproves like, of your communism. They're like religious right. In the day, it used to be like the Christians like passing out those little pamphlets saying, if you masturbate, you go to hell type shit. I still like pass those days of <laughs> So that doesn't that actually doesn't sound like such a bad idea. I should pass those out at furry cons. Yeah, we should pass those out. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> but you know, people are going to take that seriously. I would they're going to think like we actually. They're going to they're think that we're actually looking to do that. So. It's a joke. Oh, no, it's, joking. it's a joke. Autistics. They're, they're Autistics. Going to say, oh my god, re. It's like to do that at a fur con. Calm down. Uh, speak not... for yourself, yeah, buddy. It would be funny if someone did. I, I gotta say that. I kind of want to. <laughs> I might do it. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. This is not rel. This is pull. Get it right. Yeah. That's religiously intolerant. Is that we are pull. Get it right. Uh, I'm not a Pollock. <laughs> yeah, neither am I, actually. Oh. I'm a part of the Moon Clan. Praise God. So, anyways, anyways, yeah, I, I actually thought his his posters are pretty good. I uh, I'm not sure what happened to him though. I'll just put it that way. I'm not sure what happened to those those uh, those pamphlets over there. I need to see if he blocked me. That'd be fun. I, he hasn't blocked me, so that's good. Some of his friends have blocked me, but he hasn't blocked me because he Only... had to tweet the anvil butt thing at me. <laughs> he hasn't. Um, awesome. Only the um, cultural Marxist uh, Twitter itself uh, is the one that's blocked us. I'm not sure if he runs that or not, but. That's enough. Be. That's enough Attica for now. We've talked about yeah. Attica enough. I think it's time to move on. We'll leave Attica in peace. So, what? Here's what I wanted. What I want to get from you guys is, what do you think this means for conventions going forward? Because here, here's kind of my take on it. I don't think like this represents a pretty big escalation because there was actually some stuff that did happen. I mean, there were people screaming at Foxler and saying, mm -hmm. "Come on, come out from the corner and fight me." which is another one of the threats I didn't get to, but this is a significant escalation over pretty much any other furry convention that I, I and you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's, it's a, it represents a pretty significant escalation and I don't see it getting any better. I see. No, I see, it's going to get worse. <laughs> yeah. I see this getting worse and I see this kind yeah. of, these kind of violence and these kind of threats. I see them coming to every single convention that so furry, and, and not, not with just Foxler, but just anybody. Yeah, the furry community is, in more ways than one, um, mirroring the real world, especially in the political sense. None of this shit happened until Trump right. triggered the fuck out of half the world. That's very true. Um, but yeah, as the way I see it, unless something serious changes within the fandom, it's the same thing as with the real world. Shit is going to get really bad. I doubt it'll get in the fandom. It'll get as bad as it will get in real life. It might, but it'll get no right wing furry squads. The actual <laughs> country. Oh god, right wing furry squads. This is just <laughs> so much cringe. I don't. This can't be real. This can't. Can I join the right wing yeah. furry squad? <laughs> yeah, get the furries at the front line because they're still the lesser. <laughs> All jokes aside, actual <laughs> violence is a very <laughs> real possibility. I think so too. I, mean, I I I think it's just a matter of time before some people yeah. start slugging it out on on a convention floor. I think that'd be funny to watch a bunch of furries fucking fighting each other to the death. It's like a <laughs> dumb fight. I, I actually want to a fight happen between the furry some furries just because I want to sit back and watch with popcorn. I don't. Here's what I think will happen. What, we're actually at a crossroads with the fandom right now. Onerous two cons right now. Conventions have one of two choices. Okay. You're going to leave us in suspense? Can, yeah. No. This, this was, <laughs> a, they can either uh, people and it gets worse and worse. If the more, if, if you give these, you know, the SJW types, these, you know, Antifa types, they will take a mile because they won't stop at quote unquote Foxler. If right. you wear a Trump hat, that means oh you're a Nazi and punch uh, someone. There's like someone in the server who's like 
I, I feel like there's maybe like a left libertarian, but like. Well, <laughs> the problem. Ignore the Discord server. Like, right like, yeah, like, so the, the Discord me. server. We can pay attention to that anytime. It's a live show. Yeah. No, no, I'm just saying that there's someone in there, and they uh, they like left libertarian, and then I was like, "Did you get called a Nazi? Is that why you came here?" And they're like, "Yeah." <laughs> 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 well, yeah it's, it's like, it's like this, you know. Yeah, like, nice, I, they're it? like, "I need a community." Yeah, I'm I'm sorry, but if being if that's the case, you know, because it's not going to quote unquote just stop at you know, Fox learning his arm band because it's going to continue. These people would take down Foxler. They would go after people like In a Desert. They'd go after JJ Indigo. They'd go after people like fucking me. Oh yeah. Actually, I they did would... see something on In a Desert recently with uh, BLFC. I don't oh. have the tweet, but one of the leftist furs was saying, "Hey, you guys should probably ban In a Desert. He looks like the type that'll bring a gun to the fucking con." <laughs> wow. Oh, oh yeah, because In a Desert is a tactical fag like me. It's like no, he and a uh, JJ are cool, but. Are these people? If you, if you give them an inch, it, they Fucking will miles. take it. They will take through. They will take it miles. I remember when the whole fandom <laughs> turned on me. <laughs> um, basically, if you just tell if, if you just tell these people, uh, okay, you know, act more professional. If these cons stay professional and say we don't advocate anything on either side, and just basically take as much of a hands-off approach. Eventually, have happen is this will give the if the cons basically just give them their own rope to hang themselves, they will hang themselves eventually. Yeah, they will hang themselves. You will see these people cause violence, get caught on video, you know, maybe punching someone like him. Oh, they will be caught if they do it. They will be caught on video. If they if they go anywhere near one of the guys we know, they will be on video. What? Have been caught on video. Yeah. Moments where the rest of the fandom that, you know, maybe is to the left, maybe doesn't really talk about politics, is going to say, you know what? I really don't want to defend these guys. I'm sorry. I'm out. And eventually, these people are going to use up all their currency. They're going to use up all their capital, and they're going to be the ones in the end, basically, themselves out of cons, basically ruining themselves because they went too far crazy to the other side. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I think that's. I would I would view that as an optimistic view as as an optimistic point of view. I don't. Everything that I've seen about this fandom is the silent majority just going along with the cry bullies and the social justice warriors. And like, no matter how freaking insane they get, the moral majority is too afraid or too apathetic to do anything and so uh, that that's that's a really insightful way of looking at it and and it's you know there are a lot of things you mentioned that, that i hadn't thought about but I, I don't i don't know i i feel like it's i feel like we're between a rock and a hard place you know what i'm saying if, if you basically if cons give in to these people and keep giving in to these people it's going to get worse on the yep. other oh, hand yeah. if cons basically keep... just you know stand their ground take a hands-off approach even cater to either side. Well, to get worse at first, but eventually is going to basically hang themselves with their own rope, you know. Okay. So couple... correct correct me if I'm wrong, Husky Jack. It, it's it sounds to me like you actually thought BLFC did a really good job is seen I did from what I've heard, they're more to be honest, outside of the uh, Nazis you know, at the con. Right. They had where people just basically getting drugs. So really to be honest, but Nazis isn't a problem. It's more of they just need to take care of general security. Okay. Okay. The, the fandom just if they actually just used to say to these people, leave an eye and basically a security approach or just basically, you know, I at bay. Eventually, you're going to see the other side. You know, you know that's what, that's what, that's what you need to see happen. You just need to see the other side. You know, own rope and hang themselves with. Okay. Okay. 
Well, I'll, I'll say this. They did. I'll give BLFC credit here. They didn't just buckle to these these people and their their ridiculous demands. So I, I will definitely give them credit for that. And it looked like the convention went really well. It looked like it was a lot of fun. It looked like 90% of the people there didn't give a flying crap about Foxler. Yeah, uh, it was just like a few tards. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, okay. And like, <laughs> and that, that's, that's all they do. They don't do shit. They just take a picture of them flipping Foxler off like, ooh, brave. All right, guys. Well, it is 9 o'clock, and I wanted to keep this wanted to keep our opening show limited to 60 minutes because frankly i think that's all most people can stand of listening to us so True. <laughs> especially me with my autistic screeching <laughs> all right guys so we'll, I, i'm going to try and do i'm going to try and do a weekly show maybe bi-weekly and uh bi-weekly yeah so oh. twice a month bi-weekly <laughs> <Bi-sexual. Whatever. laughs> so with that I bid you guys a good night. Wow. All right. And, and, and adieu. Take any questions? Uh, from oh, yeah, questions. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Go go ahead. Like, let's take see. Three questions. Yeah. Right Realist, are you still in the chat? I know you have some good questions for us. What have you? Whee! Ask the chairman and she he shall answer. He, she shall answer. <laughs> we'll give him a couple <laughs> minutes. <laughs> he, man. <laughs> and the Masters Friendly of the Universe. Friendly Factor says re. Night. Diapers are much more triggering than armbands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking true. Diapers are <laughs> more triggering than armbands. How big oh. is the band list? It's very big. It's huge. It's tremendous. How big is the band list for all furry discord? <laughs> It's tremendous. It's, it's big. It's beautiful. It's, it's like not, Trump ball. It's not Let as big as you, it's it's not as big as you think. We we unban people. We unless they're doing serious stuff. Bands. How many well, bands? Okay. Do you I have, have a question. Oh uh, yeah, no, that's yeah. If he had from from this guy with Greek text, if Hitler had a bad dragon dildo, which would he buy? I don't know. I don't even. Think. I don't know. I don't go to bad dragon. I don't I'm not go to fucking. Yeah, I'm not that I. much. I'm not afraid to turn it on that level. I'm just like drawing. I'm art. just going to do this. Being someone of a degenerate, it's going to probably be a horse, one of the horse <laughs> ones, because Hitler That's actually disgusting. was fond of horses. Okay. You're talking to furry. Let's not talk about horse dicks, please. I don't. My ban. My ban list on Twitter yeah, is probably were... like way longer than Discord's <laughs> ban list. <laughs> Nice pun there, clown piece. Nice pun. I get it. Number of people who have blocked me on Twitter is probably larger. Oh my god, I need to see how many people I've blocked. No, that'll take way too long. I'm sorry. Sorry, is there any more <laughs> questions or what? Uh, it looks like right uh, realist isn't on here anymore. Okay. Well, fuck, oh, well. dudes. All right, I guess that's goodbye then. Yeah, Bye-bye. that'll that'll do it. All right, guys, have a good Bye-bye. night. Wait, wait, wait. Well. TK's building up for something. Merry Christmas. Oh, I'll see god, you, ladies in Berlin. Okay. <laughs> Christmas, <laughs> the shit.